welcome back to Veggie Vero's Kids Corner. I'm your host, Veronica Green. I am back again at the Delray Beach Children's Garden today, and I have a beautiful story for you this morning. It is called The Pout Pout Fish. This is a silly story about a fish who always has a pout on his face. Hmm. <laughs> now, this is a popular series, The Pout Pout Fish. It's very cute. It's a rhyming book, and good way to remind us of all the beautiful animals that live in the ocean that we want to protect. Okay, so we will read the pout pout fish and then we'll dive into the craft project. Today's craft is going to be a cotton ball rain cloud. So grab some cotton balls. I am lucky enough to be able to use fresh cotton that grew here in the garden. So that will be fun. Um, grab cotton balls, grab some glue, grab some paper. And if you have blue paint or watercolors, we'll use that to make the little drip drops coming out of our rain cloud. We're trying to do everything we can to summon the rain. <laughs> we need all the rain we can get here at the garden. Okay, everybody ready? Let's start with our story. Get ready, get cozy. Here we go. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blurb, blurb, blurb. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish with your crosstown frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, nice thought, Mrs. Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub. 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 Along comes a squid, quite a slender, squiggly sight. She is squirmy, she is squelchy, she's a little impolite. Hey, Mr. Fish, you kaleidoscope of mope. How about a smile, a little joy, a little hope? Says the fish to his friend, Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. I'm a pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. 
Along comes an octopus with eight great arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky bulky sulking is an unattractive trait. Says the fish to his friend, Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. A pout pout fish with a pout pout face. I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. <laughs> now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never before seen this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friends, says Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss kiss fish with a kiss kiss face. I spread the cheery cheeries all over the place. So I'll smooch and I'll smooch and I'll smooch, smooch, smooch. <laughs> Smooch. <laughs> All right, very cute story. He thought he had a pout pout face, but all along he had a smoochy face. Do you have a smoochy face? <laughs> Let's all give each other a big virtual smooch. One, two, three. Mwah! <laughs> Okay, are you guys ready to do the arts and craft? Okay, if you're just joining us, grab uh, some cotton balls, grab some glue, piece of paper, and some paint or watercolors with a paintbrush. Okay, we are going to make a rain cloud to help us summon the rain. I actually have this fresh cotton that was picked from right here in the garden. So if you've never seen a cotton tree, a cotton plant in person, I recommend you come and check it out. It's a beautiful plant. We love to harvest cotton from our tree and um, use it for all types of activities. And it's just a great reminder that, you know, all of the convenient things that we buy that are made from cotton, like cotton balls, t-shirts, you know, anything that's made from cotton, there is a whole process that happens before it reaches the store, right, for us to purchase. So seeing cotton growing in person and actually picking it and being able to pick out the seeds, it's a nice reminder that we are very blessed and um, helps you to appreciate all of the cotton that we, that we use in our daily lives. All right, so Go ahead and take your glue. Let's start out by making the puffy cloud on your paper, okay? If you wanna draw the cloud first, you can do that. I'm not gonna really draw it. I'm just gonna glue down a puffy glob of glue and we're gonna use our cotton to make it into a cloud, okay? All 
All right, so if you can see, it's a little glossy. I just put the glue down just in the top area. And now I'm going to take my cotton and just spread it all out over the glue. All right, so here's what I've got so far. That's my cloud. And now I'm going to take the blue paint. You can use watercolor or, or paint or even a marker crayon if you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and use watercolor. I'm gonna dip it paintbrush in the blue watercolor and make little raindrops. <laughs> Cute, huh? You can even make a rainbow above it if you want to. Let's see if I, I didn't save a lot of space, but maybe I can squeeze in a little rainbow. That'd be cute. All right, so I didn't have enough space to make all the colors of the rainbow, but I put a few watercolor streaks up there. <laughs> so this is like a really fun and easy craft. And again, you don't have to use watercolor. You can use marker, crayon, whatever you have. And it's a good sensory project. You feel how soft the cotton is. Very cute. Well, there is my rainy day cloud and my wish is being put out into the universe. Send us some rain here at the garden. The plants are thirsty. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the pout pout fish story. Can you see my little friend behind me over here? Her name's Parsley. She's our garden resident kitty. She's doing some grooming, <laughs> photo bombing, video bombing my, my show here. <laughs> Hi, Parsley. All right, guys. Well, have a beautiful rest of your weekend. And if you are in the area, come and see us. We're open at the Delray Beach Children's Garden from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. every Saturday and Sunday. Okay, everyone, have a great day. Bye.